What's good football fans? Back at you once again with another video. And I wanted to come on this afternoon and talk a little bit about Mitchell Tinsley. Now I almost made a video about Tinsley when we signed him as an undrafted free agent, but I figured I'd just wait the process out and if he made the roster, I would just double back. Well, of course I heard earlier that he did in fact make the roster, at least the initial one. So with that said, let's just hop right into his film. Now, I fully believe that Tinsley was on the cusp of making the roster until this play right here. And this play right here probably cinched his place on the 53. And for good reason, he not only makes the catch in wide open field, but then makes a couple of moves and is able to get into the end zone, which without the moves, he's definitely not getting in there for six points. It's not going to happen. Nice little spin move there. Now, he had a few intermediate routes that, you know, during preseason, but this was the other one that caught my eye during the Browns game. He was able to go up and bring that ball down and that wasn't the easiest of catches to make and he brought it in you know secured it but the guy's got a great set of hands that he was able to show off in college that's just an unbelievable spin around and catch right there that's actually a really hard ball to track and be able to pull in which is actually probably his best trait this guy looks like he put stick them all over his hands, if you know what I mean. He's able to get in there and make those catches that supposedly you can't make or that the players normally don't make. This play right here actually looked like the play I was just talking about a minute ago that he made the team on. Literally pretty much the same play. Of course, he doesn't have to make a spin move there. He's able to make the catch and then just walk in with a touchdown. To me, this right here is the type of play that we will want to use Mitchell Tinsley with right here. He is unbelievably good at those over the shoulder in the bread basket type catches. You see that right there. That is his bread and butter. He is great at being able to track that ball like that and to be able to suck it in and be able to bring it down. And as you see right there, he's able to get in there and get the points off of it. Just don't get no better than that. And that's actually something that Washington has been lacking for a long time as a good, reliable target down in the red zone. And I feel like Tinsley gives the team that further on down the depth chart. Here's another one of those balls that he has to spin completely around to get the ball and then come back down with it. The difficulty of that catch has got to be somewhere around a seven or an eight, maybe even a nine. That is not an easy catch to make at all. Now this one right here, he's able to suck in with one hand and still get two feet in bounds and make the play, despite being interfered with as you see the, the flag coming at the end. As you can see the replay right here, he was definitely being held. Taking a quick look at his scouting report, they list his strengths as average height, but well strapped together with length and hand size. Above average short area quickness, route precision allows him to snap off his brakes. Eyes quickly locate the football and his body stays balanced adjusting to it. Efficient pluck and put away technique. Rescues throws off his shoulder or down by his cleats. Crowded catch points didn't seem to phase his focus on tape. Dependable character and made an impact in Happy Valley despite only one year there. Offensive coordinator Mike Yurich says he's a team guy. He loves to compete. Love that kid. Comfortable working inside and outside, led Penn State in receptions in 2022 with 51, I believe it was. His weaknesses, lacks desired top-end speed, doesn't have a secondary burst to easily create vertical separation, footwork lags if his body rhythm isn't on point in his stem work, can do more to effectively sell his patterns, needs to improve his physicality versus rugged press corners, doesn't consistently play above the rim or use body position to box out defenders. Not a dynamic make you miss threat, regardless of the space. Had only one game with 70 plus receiving yards in 2022. Marginal special teams experience and potential in the NFL. A one year starter at Penn State, Tinsley was primarily an outside receiver and offensive coordinator Mike Yurich RPO based scheme. He had to learn five different offenses at three different stops in his five years in college but he quickly digested the Penn State playbook and connected with quarterback Sean Clifford, who was also his roommate. What Tinsley doesn't offer as a deep threat, he makes up with his crisp quickness underneath and finishing skills to catch point. However, the absence of high-end explosiveness limits his special team's value and ability to be more than just a possession target. Overall, Tinsley is well-liked by evaluators because of his fluid movements, ball skills, and football smarts, 
but the lack of game-breaking athleticism puts a cap on his pro ceiling. He projects as a reliable slot option. But you know, this is a guy who brought in 51 catches for 577 yards and five touchdowns last year at Penn State. But the year before, in 2021, is where he really made a dent in college football and got his name out there. He brought in 87 catches for 1,402 yards and 14 touchdowns with Western Kentucky. Now, from what I've seen on film, the guy runs unbelievably crisp routes and he has a great set of hands on him. He really does not have anything in the speed department that really make, that really jumps out, but I think he's got a little bit more athleticism than what maybe his scouting report was talking. I view this guy as a sure-handed, first down target, you know, red zone target kind of guy. I'm not so sure how many targets he's actually going to see though with all of the wide receivers in front of him. Not to mention tight ends. We know that Eric Bieniemy loves his tight ends. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But I'm glad Tinsley made the roster and I hope that they can, you know, further develop the skills that he does have so that, you know, he can contribute on the team. At any rate, that's all I got for right now. Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments. Y'all take it easy. Peace.